Good morning, everyone. Hope you're doing amazing. We're doing really well over here, just getting ready for Christmas and getting ready for the new year. So, you know, whenever this time of the year comes around, we start giving thanks for the things that we have. We start giving things for the things that we don't have. And then we start thinking about our New Year's resolutions. What, like my version, will look like next year, okay? So when I started thinking about that, I was remembering what I was thinking last year. You know, last year version of Carolina. And um, last year, I was doing, I guess I was thinking a little bit differently, right? I was thinking, you know, I'd like to do X, Y, and Z, but my mind was like, oh, but what about if this, this, and this happens, right? I was having a little bit of that, um, I guess, anxiety and negativity associated with the things that I actually wanted, instead of just putting my full force focus on what I really wanted. So it was a little bit inconsistent and it's totally different with what I'm doing now. And I want to talk to you about what I've learned this year that has helped me achieve all of the different goals that I've had for myself with um, my new job, with my book, with the different communities that I've reached out to. Everything that I've been wanting has been happening. But it's not just because like, oh, I'm wishing for it and lucky me, it just happened. It's really, it's really because of the power of manifestation. The power that we have inside of us to manifest what we want and what we need in this world. And I know it sounds a little bit loopy. It sounds a little bit um, difficult to put your mind around because it was like that for me too. I was like, how is it possible that you can just imagine this, like a version of you in the future and you just get to that. And a lot of people may think, it's just a goal. It's a goal and you work your steps to get to it. And it may be, but before it turns into a goal, before it turns into steps to be taken, it's just an idea, right? It's just an idea of what it is that you want. And this year I've learned that if you truly want something and if that thing that you want is going to help yourself, to help others in this world or to contribute something to society, the world, the universe, God, whatever you believe in, that energy helps you do that. And that's something that I talked about in my last video. But this video, I want to talk about how we actually harness that and how each one of us can manifest what we want in this world. So let's get into that, okay? I'll tell you about what I did that I sort of touched on in previous uh, videos, but not fully. So. I started this year by just creating a journal. And in the journal, I was writing to my angels because I, I believe in angels. Um, you can write to yourself, you can write to the universe, you can write in whatever you believe in. You know, if you just believe in yourself, you just write a letter to yourself, right? It doesn't matter. It's just the process that, that's the most important here. So I started writing down the things that I wanted for myself this year. And I said, you know, I need help with X, Y, and Z because I really want to do this. I really want to do my book. I really want to help this particular community, but I don't have connections to them yet. I really want to do this. And everything that I put, as long as I put, I want this because it will also benefit and I would put somebody else that it would benefit. When I put that down, it's like, it's like everything magically started coming to me. It wasn't that I had to search for it anymore. It wasn't that I had to work really hard for it. It was just that I truly wanted to do these things because I felt that, um, that they would help me help other people. So because I believed in this so deeply, everything that I needed, like people that I never have met before, um, just started reaching out to me. I started becoming like just this um, energy receiver. <laughs> people were coming to me now to ask me about the things that I wanted to do and to help them with projects that were in line with everything that I wanted. And it was really interesting because I never knew and never really believed that if you put this idea out there of yourself or of a goal that you wanted to achieve as far out as it may be, I never really believed that it would happen. And, and the reason for that was because when I grew up, like many of you, we were taught to, um, to ask for what we needed, right? To ask for what we needed and if we were good and if we were patient and if we did all of these things, we would get it. But if you messed up along that way, you probably weren't going to get it because you messed up. So that's the mentality I grew up with. So it has taken 
this year for me to really wake up from that and realize that if I truly want something, if you truly want something and you know that what it is that you want will benefit you and will help you help other people, it is going to happen for you. Like we talked about in the last video, the universe, uh, the energy around you, the people around you will somehow know that and you will start attracting the things that you need to make sure that that goal is met. And trust me, I know it sounds a little bit strange, but give it a try. Give it a try, get yourself a journal and just write down in there those dreams that you have deep down, those dreams that you don't tell anybody, those dreams that um, are so far out that if you shared them, people would think, okay, they're a little bit weird, you know? Those dreams, put those down on paper and truly believe that you can reach those dreams and I promise you that you're going to start seeing these signs in your life that you can do it. You're going to start receiving messages from people that you've never talked to before that are going to help you do this. So that's the, that's the goal for this week. And actually for the rest of the year, let's work on that. And let's just allow the universe to give us all of the things that we need so that we can accomplish these various dreams that we have. Because at the end of the day, these dreams that we all have individually are going to help one another and are going to help our community. So, okay guys, I hope that this week is full of love, unity, and peace for you. Remember to always give thanks for all the things that you have, the things that you don't have, and focus on the self that you want to be. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.